Hey everyone, really excited to show you today uh, the performance boost you're going to get with the new Hydros Plus Performance Kit for 2R and 3E series tractors. Now, I took this footage with the intent of putting it together with some backhoe footage and making a more comprehensive video, but instead I'm just going to let you ride along with me in this unedited video and show you a couple of use cases that we use these tractors for on a regular basis. And I think you'll see for yourself how much smoother the two functions are and just how much better your tractor can be with Hydros Plus. Um, let me give, give you the setup. It, I hope this angle works okay. But we're at idle right now. So this is the kind of performance you expect to idle probably. So it's still, you know, probably not enough even with Hydros Plus, but um, it's definitely faster, you can tell that for sure. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to move this dirt uh, over to another spot. And the scenario that, that when I use this tractor that I wanted out of more flow is I want to be able to bring my RPMs up to say 15, 1600 and that's where the bottom is. But I also want to take advantage of, of e-throttle. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm in low range and kind of show you some some moving of dirt with the loader and then we will uh, potentially move it back but I think you get the idea what what I expect you're interested in is just how does this uh, perform compared to what what I do today so so 1600 rpms I, I do not have a, <laughs> a lot of real world experience with this loader. I have a lot with the 1 series loader. So let's start with this and then we'll go up to a another scenario where people use probably is, is running it at higher RPMs, maybe as high as 2500. So give us a shot. This is definitely heavy wet clay. I'll go ahead and bring it up, it's like I'm dumping it, you know, just so you can see it. Get my ground speed of my e-throttle. So, and if it were me, I would not run it like this for this particular dirt simply because it's really wet, really heavy, and clay. Now, if I was running something like mulch or, <clears throat> excuse me, if I was running something like mulch or something else that wasn't this heavy, I would run like this. But this is all I got today. So, you know, as you see the, uh, or hear the tractor kind of bear down, it's because uh, this dirt is just thick and heavy. It's very nice to be able to come up, get the speed you want. Get two functions at once, no problem. Uh, you know, this is not how you would do it in real life, but I'm just kind of simulating if you had to dump over or into something, what it might be like. Kind of spread that out since it's not. Obviously, if you were moving into a truck, a truck or something like that, you'd probably be a little more careful with the sides. And I don't yet on this tractor because I don't use it very much. Uh, I don't have a uh, spinner knob, so it could be better. I think I tried to buy one this morning at a local John Deere place. Oops. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately we're out. It was going to be a long way to go to the next John Deere place, so I'm doing it without. I'm doing it old school. Got in too big a hurry there. So let's do, that's your auto throttle use case. I'm going to turn auto throttle off. Let's just run up to, you know, 2,000 RPM, see how that goes. So, so you can see this is how fast the bucket goes at 2,000. And to me, 2,000 for this tractor seems just right. Alright, give this a shot. Too deep there. Try to get a big bucket. I'm limited in my ground speed, but I have enough. Go load my dump truck here. a pretty good load, pretty heavy load. Now my pressure is still set at the same 2500 PSI, so this is what your tractor will do. I guess I could start bringing it back over the other way, but we get a couple more scoops. Actually now what I'll do is I'll just start Filling in the hole. There's two functions on this one. At this RPM, for me, it just feels right. That would probably be, I like the e-throttle scenario, but if if I'm doing a lot of like moving of dirt, I think I would be more apt to do it this way unless I just needed max speed. Uh, if I needed max speed, then I would go ahead and leave. But well, let me let me take that back. I can turn e-throttle on right now, I guess. So let me turn it on. Now we're at 2,000 RPMs. There we go. Now, nothing says you have to run at 1,500. Definitely get some work done this way. And again, this is not what you all would do. Just for demonstration. Anybody? tunes into the middle of this video and goes, what is this guy doing? Why would he lift it so high when he doesn't have to? That's what I would do. Come in in the middle, Google something. Two functions, maybe. Boy, I need a little more seat time in this thing before I am really smooth with it. Get one more scoop. This video is probably getting long already. And then I'm going to go, well, 
what I'm going to do in real life is go compare it to a 3E e series. But that's not necessarily what's going to be after this part of the video, so I have to learn that. Not to say things that pin me down to a particular order in the video. So, hope this is uh, at least insightful for those of you considering Hydros Plus. Get puppy. Go to the top.